rule. All of college football will know about Riola. And that was a comment Matt Rule made to Joel Klatt in an interview that took place earlier in May, back when the coaches were all in Phoenix for a meeting. Uh, it was published this week. It was nearly a 30-minute sit-down with Matt Rule and Joel Klatt. Outstanding interview. Um, but the comments that Rule said about Dylan Riola should get your attention. Yeah, um, he said, I mean, his last quote about Dylan, Matt Rule's last quote in this, you know, they, you know, they jumped around segments like we do. They jumped around topics, I should say. And his last quote on Dylan was, was he certainly has helped us raise the level of play. And I think he's going to be a guy who all of college football knows. All right. I mean, that's, that's quite a, I, I'm a, I guess an endorsement, would you say? I mean, that's, he's not, now I'm going to say this very respectfully. He's not saying that about Heinrich Harburg and Daniel Kalen. Okay. We always have this discussion. He's also not saying rules, not saying that Dylan's going to be the starter either. We should, we should add that Dylan's got to go earn it. I think to this point he has, but there's another point now it's called August and you don't want to name your quarterback and then have that quarterback come out and throw a bunch of picks on August 7th through August 15th and then kind of leave everybody confused. And I've talked about, you know, Nebraska fans are kind of whipped, whipped victims basically They've, over the years of just buying into this type of time of year. Mm -hmm. Tanner Lee was a great example of that. You, you kind of <laughs> good point. ended up being a draft pick yeah, at quarterback, but was not good. I mean, Jeff Sims, though, last year. Oh, God. I mean, yeah. they brought him to Big Ten Media Days. Yeah. Amigos named a combo meal after him. Yeah, I Acres will. equipment, and, and, you know, he had he had uh, advertising deals made with Gary Michael Suits Company. I mean, he had everybody was in on Jeff Sims. It was supposed to be kind of a can't-miss tran tran transaction. It was. And it was as big of a miss as any in the country. Yes, thanks for bringing that up. Um, it was, I, and I felt victim to. No, we all did. Yeah, I, I mean, I wrote glowing things about Sims. Remember Satterfield, and Marcus Satterfield wouldn't mind me sharing this. Satterfield, remember in Belton, Texas, last year, not this year, last year, one of the, one of the, I thought most important stories that came out of Belton, was Marcus Satterfield's glowing praise for Jeff Sims. I remember interviewing him on that field in Belton and walking away going, whoa, man, Satterfield feels like he has something there. And we wrote it, and it was exciting, and I, I bought in. But I think this is different. Um, and, and Rule, Sean, he does explain himself in this, in this article. I mean, he does kind of back up what he's saying. He says Dylan's talent. And let's make, let's make no mistake. This is simple talking now, not rule. He, Dylan has massive arm talent, okay? He's got big-time arm, okay? Rule said Dylan's talent is only matched by who he is as a person, okay? You know the Riolas pretty well. We know the Riolas pretty well. This is good. This is a good family. It's a great football family. It's a good sports family. They're, they're very mind – they're religious. They, they – I mean, they're accountable to each other. The picture's really good there. Also, Rule says this. You always hear Tom Brady and those guys talk about how when your best players work the hardest, you have a great team. He said, well, Dylan's one of those guys who tries to work the hardest. And you know that about Dylan. I know that about Dylan. Dylan, you, I never worry about him. I don't worry about him not rising to this occasion. I don't. Because... I know Dominic, and I know I, I I'm very familiar with Dylan. He's very grounded, and he's and his level of want to is through the roof. He and wants to be. Really you bad. don't have to worry about him being out on the town. Oh, he's very. And cool. I will say, like you, you heard, you know, Jeff Sims. Like any, was that, you hear so he's out on the town a lot. You see him around and do hear that and. You know, I'm not saying, I mean, look, I was out on the town a lot when I was. Yeah. A, I mean, and good, you know, Kenny Stabler was out on the town and he was the best in the NFL for a while. But so you, you can yeah, do I, it. I don't hear those things like Riola. No, like he's like a pro the way he operates already. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. I mean, he'll be over at Donovan's going, you know, before the, before a practice or before the spring game, going over pass protections with Donovan walk, you know, they'll, you know what they'll do, Sean, they'll be in the living room 
doing this footwork, the proper footwork for plays as, as he's calling out protections. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's serious. It's serious business. You know what, Sean, this is the best way to put it. It's serious business to him. It is. He's making money. He wants to make money. He wants to be an NFL player. This is serious business to him. When he, he could have gone anywhere. I mean, you think about Lincoln Riley, uh, Ryan Day, Kirby Smart. Who was their first pick as a quarterback? Dylan Riola. Yeah. That's, I mean, I don't care what you say about how things, whatever happened. Mm -hmm. Those co those coaches, the best QB coaches in college football, that was their guy. Yeah, we got a taste of it in the spring. I mean, listen, we're not – I don't want to go overboard. I don't want people to – you know, in the comments, say, hey, here you guys go again. No, we're not. I'm not. I don't want to do that. But you saw the spring game. All you got to do. OK, now he's throwing against a defense that's vanilla and, they, and he's not throwing against Big Ten corners or Big Ten safeties or anybody. But the throws were the throws and they were beautiful. That throw to Jalen Lloyd, I watched it last night again, was a gorgeous throw. He made a throw that throw to the tight end Borkerture was on a rope, and it was right where it had to be. That was the best pass of the day. The other thing he, he'll do is he'll check in and out of things. Oh, he's really smart at the line of scrimmage. And yeah. I don't know if they had that capability. as well. I mean, I think he's training himself at a different level. Oh, I think it surprised the defensive coaches a little bit how well he, he could change protections at the line of scrimmage as a true freshman and do it very adeptly. Um, and Terrence Knight told us in – in Belton, he torts the one sometimes. Was it you or somebody else that told the story about there were there were some other coaches that met with the defensive staff and watched film of spring ball, mm -hmm. and they're watching the cutups and Riola just was making they were in the right coverages and doing the right things, but Riola still was making the throws, yeah, and the was, yeah. and the defensive staff's like, I mean, what do you even do here? <laughs> that wasn't me, but that's interesting. I'm not surprised. I mean, he had a good spring. All right, that's. I mean, he put himself in position to be the starting quarterback. Now, he's just got to take it into August. The day that I heard, there was a few days in the spring where there was like just ridiculously blasting cold 35-mile-an-hour northern winds mm -hmm. where nobody could make throws, and he was making throws. Well, and, you you know, people make fun of me and other people for saying this, but in this league, I don't – you can make fun of me if you want. I want a big quarterback, a 6'3 kid who weighs 210, 220, 230 pounds with big hands that can whip the ball into the wind. That's I do want that. And, and, and you know who else has said that? Matt Rule. Matt Rule's made the hands comment. He likes the big hand, big handed quarterback. It means something. In this in this league, it does mean something. Yeah, 2013 at Penn State, trying oh, to throw on that game out there. We were oh, out there. Think about it. And it was Christian Hackenberg for Penn, and he was whipping, he was whipping it. into the wind. Hackenberg was a big quarterback. Now Hackenberg, I don't know where he's at now, but he was a five star though. He's five, big time, big, big five star. A big, I mean, he could whip the ball into the wind. That's what Rayola can do. All right, let's I take think it. Daniel Kalen can do that. No, the, and and Har Heinrich's a big kid. Harburg's got an arm. Oh, Harburg is a is a good. I mean, he's he's one of the best looking players on the team. When you see well, him. and then the fourth guy they brought in, Gramstad. He's won national championships playing in in, in snow, cold in snow games. Cold, yeah. I mean, he's hell yes. He's so he's proven in that condition too. So they that room's in good shape.